With a wind chill of negative four in Concord today, it wasn't exactly rally weather at the State House, but dozens still turned out to celebrate a recent victory for gun rights and the outsized role played by women in winning that debate. It may not look like it at first glance, but this is a women's rights rally, specifically Second Amendment rights. It's important because we want to protect ourselves and it's a fundamental human right. Dozens braved the cold outside the State House Saturday to celebrate the recent repeal of New Hampshire's concealed carry licensing law, which required Granite Staters to obtain a permit to legally carry a concealed firearm. It's great. It's great. I'm so thankful to Governor Sununu for signing the law into uh, the bill into law. At the bill signing, mingled in with the state reps and senators were members of the Women's Defense League of New Hampshire, a relatively new group on the state's busy pro-gun scene, but one that put a different face on what used to be a very male-dominated issue. I think we made it seem more real. We're your neighbors, we're the moms at the soccer field, we're the moms you know, at the grocery store that you know. Conservative state rep John Burt of Goffstown, who's considering a run for Congress in 2018, says the Women's Defense League played a crucial role in fighting to change the concealed carry law. Oh, extremely important. I, I cannot thank them enough for being up here. They were at every committee hearing. They were, you know, throughout the whole process, they were there. The Defense League says it was a team effort, but one it believes will ultimately empower Granite State women. We have restored a right to the citizens of New Hampshire, women, men, uh, law-abiding citizens. Today, the group Granite State Progress, which advocates for stricter gun control laws, released a statement. It said, quote, it is reasonable to deny concealed carry for those who are a danger to themselves or others. And we see no reason to celebrate Governor Sununu dismantling a 94-year-old public safety law.